right, Kelly? Because the U.S. government, you either got to default on it or deflate it. And so they're backstopping everything. The spigots are wide open. Uh, money printer is going burr. So it doesn't matter where your monies are held is that uh, the government's going to make you hold on it no matter what. Who cares? Uh, the only thing that's clear to us and clear to our customers is you cannot hold and save in dollars anymore. I think that there's going to be a new era of the U.S. dollar where inflation will enter a normalized 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 percent. The days of 2 percent inflation are over. What the if you're wrong, Dad? Really because the, the, the market out. as you, you know, the market is telling us we've gone from having, you know, expected 3.5 percent inflation last year to just over 2 percent now for the next five years. Again, it's the op it doesn't see inflation accelerating and picking up from here. Look at the swap lines we just instituted over the weekend. The, it reiterates the dollar's dominance in the global financial system. And if anything, we're going to be averaging inflation for the next decade. That probably looks a lot more like the 2010s we just came from. Yeah, but Kelly, the, these swap lines and treating these assets at par that these banks are holding is a load of crap. It's a politically correct way. The swap lines over the weekend were a politically, politically correct way going into an election year for the Federal Reserve to bail out foreign big institutions and not take care of the little guy in the United States of America. Those things aren't trading at par. If they were trading at par, when I walked down to my bank on the corner and I said, I want my money, they'd be able to hand it to me. They can't, Kelly. So this is just a masquerade load of nonsense. If you, they, they have to backstop these things with new money. And you're seeing risk on assets, you're seeing scarce assets actually be big winners here. So you could call it inflation because the CPI is a load of nonsense, right? Like the government's going to tell me how the dollar is inflating based on a basket of insurance. Like my Netflix subscription or my Caesar salad doesn't actually tell me how well the dollar is doing or how much it's being devalued. Miami real estate does. Bitcoin does. Bitcoin's up over 50% this year. Yeah. You're telling me that the dollar's not inflating? You're out of your mind. I'm not listening to that. The, the, the Fed and the whole monetary system is based on trust. And they constantly, they constantly bake... Uh, break that trust. It'd be the equivalent of there's a fire outside of my house. I smell the smoke and someone's telling me, no, 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 it's just a bunch of teenagers putting on a bonfire. Okay, but I hear one one siren. I hear one police siren, 10 sirens, 100 sirens. Now my whole community is running out. I'm not going to get up and look outside the window, Kelly, and see what's going on. I don't believe them for a second. You've got to be absolutely crazy to believe the Federal Reserve right now. They're full of it, and I don't have to because I own Bitcoin. There's no one that can deflate my instrument. I get to hold it, save in it. I know the monetary policy. I sleep like a baby, like the baby face that I am. Jack. I think you're crazy to believe the Fed and these swap lines and treat these assets at par. It's a gimmick. It's a scam. We appreciate your time today.